Hey, what's up guys? This is Nominal Giant here with a little bit of a tutorial today. Not something I usually do, but I've been asked <clears throat> excuse me. I've been asked a few times um how to get uh, custom alerts and uh, things like that on your stream. So that's what I'm gonna do here. What I use is Twitch Alerts. It's kind of an all-in-one. Um it accepts donations for you, gives you alerts in OBS about your donations, um, who did it what it, the amount was, new follows, stuff like that. So without any further ado, let's get into that. Um, first, you're going to need to go to uh, twitchalerts.com. This is where everything starts. Well, actually, that's not true. Uh, what you need to do first is go to uh, Open Broadcaster Software, the website for that, the obsproject.com, and navigate to the Forum Resources CLR Browser plugin. Um, what this is for is so you don't have to have a, uh, a bunch of windows open and capturing all the windows. OBS will do that uh, with CLR, so you won't have to worry about any of that garbage. But um, you won't have to worry about going to this page because I'm going to link this for you in the description so you can just go right to it. Um, what you'll need, and there goes Discord, <laughs> what you'll need, sorry about that, is um, either the 32-bit or 64-bit. It just depends on your operating system for Windows. Um, once you have that downloaded and installed, it's pretty, or once you have that downloaded, it's pretty easy to install. Um, you just follow the directions and, um, yeah, it'll, it'll walk you through that. But I can show you real quick how to do that, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, once you get it installed, pull it out of your install directory, and this is all my junk <laughs> music for videos. Um, once you get it installed, or downloaded, you just get it from your download folder. If you haven't changed your default folder, where stuff gets downloaded from the internet, that's where it should go. And then you go to your C drive, go to um, program files, depends on which version. Uh, the regular, just this program files is for 64 bit, this is 32 bit. I don't know why, um, but it's pretty much the same thing. You just go to program files, you find OBS right there, you go to plugins right there, and um, you put your CLR uh, host plugin folder directly into the plugins folder and then you'll have a DLL that comes with it that's not in this folder it's packed with it it's separate um, and you just put that in here and then it's installed and you're good to go and that's about as simple as it gets now to move on to the twitch alerts thing um, so when you get to Twitch Alerts, you'll see this page. You go to launch Twitch, Alert, Twitch Alerts. You got to make sure that you're actually signed into your Twitch account, because it'll uh, it'll send you to a page where it just automatically links, so you don't have to actually s log in using like a password or anything. Yeah, it didn't show it for me. Um, but once you get there, go to Alert Box. There you go. And uh, the stuff you see here, it's pretty simple. Um, this if you check these boxes that's what's displayed so if you get a new follower it'll, it'll display follows subscriptions donations hosts um, I use all except for the subscriptions um, <clears throat> you can test we'll do this later but you can test all your alerts through here and this is where you edit all of this stuff um, <clears throat> it's pretty much the same thing for all these guys so I'll just do follow alerts this is my follower alert um, we'll check it out real quick this is the music for it So that's the music for it. Um, you can enable, disable. Um, this is the, these three th boxes here are the text and picture orientation. You can use JPEG or you can use GIF animated images too. But this is t uh, picture on top, text on bottom, text on top of the picture, picture off to the right or the left, and the text to the right. Um, you can do different animations, all kinds of stuff there. A lot of options here. Um, message template uh, this isn't too much to worry about just as long as you since this is for your follows you want people you want to see your follower names pop up on OBS uh, you want them to be able to see it too so just leave this little annotation thing here leave this here and uh, you can do whatever you want to on either side of that just as long as the open bracket stuff or whatever whatever, the, whatever those are as long as those are there with name in the middle of it you'll be fine um, you can do text animations and a lot of this stuff you can hit these question mark oops you can hit these question marks and they'll show you what it does. 
Uh, you can change your sound volume. I usually keep it at 26 because it's so freaking loud. <laughs> um, and this is just your alert donation. Or alert donation. <laughs> Duration, I'm sorry. You can change your font settings down here. You can actually go to Google Fonts and pick a font if you don't have something in here by default. And this, I just use this one. Uh, you can change the font size, the font weight, the color, the highlight color. Highlight color is like, um, it'll show, I think it's, as far as mine's concerned right here, um, welcome will be in white and the username that followed will be in orange or whatever that color is. And it's pretty much the same thing for all these guys. All the same setup. Um, you can add custom images in here. This is a custom image. It's easy to do. If you know anything about Photoshop, um, you just you make uh, you make whatever image you want. You put it in PNG format, um, and then you just stick it in the CLR browser, and you're good. Um, you do the up, you upload by clicking this button. You can upload music and images from the same window, so you don't have to switch all over the place. I've got some weird stuff going on here, <laughs> but you don't have to switch all over the place. So you can do it all in once here, or all at once here. Um, let's see, and you can add variations. I've got a few <clears throat> for my donation alerts these guys here so I've got a couple of different ones biggest donations stuff like that the way you set these up is uh, you, you know it, it it does a uh, twitch alerts does a lot for you so this I've got it set to do donation is the largest this stream uh, you can do randomly donation amount is at least exactly blah 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 you can do your animations your text animations your um, layouts duration the sound that you want to use, the volume for the sound, all that stuff right here. Pretty, pretty, pretty simple. Um, and if you want to add a variation, it's it's the same situation. Um, let's see. Okay, so as far as Twitch Alerts is concerned, the most important thing here when you have CLR brow LR Browser, sorry, is this. You just right click and copy that, bam. Then you go to open your open, uh, open broadcaster, OBS. There you go. Um, I've got this set up, but I've got my YouTube's window set up here just for demonstration purposes. So what you want to do once you've got CLR installed into the plugin folder is just right click, add CLR browser. Bam. And you name it whatever you want. Um, it's called ours alerts. And give it a few. Sometimes it's really slow popping this window up, but uh, it's very useful. So all you got to do is that link that we grabbed earlier. You grab that, got, or, and you paste it right in here, and that's it. You can change the width and the height, uh, whatever you want to do. But for the most part, as long as you don't make anything ridiculously um, complicated, or, you know, you can do custom gifts for this. But if you don't make anything huge, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I've never had a problem with size, as far as this is concerned. So you just hit OK. It'll give you a box up here. You can resize this box, do whatever. Uh, we'll just make, we'll make this guy big or something. Stick him in the middle. And, um, oh, I don't know if I'll be able to, let's see. So, we can test it. Yeah, yeah, this should work. Let's just make this really tiny. We'll just test the follow alert. And there you go. Easy peasy. Okay. So there's that, and uh, to go along with that, Twitch Alerts does a few other fun things. Uh, it does stream labels, so it, you can put your most recent donations on there, your most on your stream, your most recent follows. You can put all that stuff on your stream. It's really easy. Um, you just download you download stream labels version 3.01. I don't know what it's going to be when you see this. It could be newer. It could be the same. I don't know. It doesn't really make a difference. Once you've got that installed, it, it does it automatically. Um, you'll end up with this um, interface here. You restart your sessions. You can do your settings and choose um, the layout of everything, kind of like how Twitch Alerts does on the web browser. Just as long as you keep all these things annotated or whatever that's called, um, you should be fine. You can add anything after, before, in between, just as long as this format's generally the same. But it shows you all of your stuff. I recommend playing with it. I, you know, there's a lot of stuff to talk about in here, but it's all pretty simple as a long, as far as what it keeps in there. Um, when you download this the first time, it uh, it populates your documents folder with all the information here in text files, so you can 
have OBS read those raw text files and uh, show it on screen. So I'll, I'll give you a demonstration of how that works. But um, so we go. We, oh, sorry. <laughs> you right-click on your sources here, add text, and you just name it whatever. Um, let's see, top donation. It would help if I could spell, right? What the heck? D O N A T I O N. That'll work. <laughs> so uh, you've got some options here. You can pick your font. Any font will do. You can change the font size, bold, italic, underline, vertical. Use point filtering. I'm not sure what that is. You can have it scroll. I don't have mine scroll, but if you want to do it, you can. Uh, you can change your color, background opacity, so you can put a background color in there. You can use an outline, the color of the outline. But what we're interested in here right now is this button. Use text from file. That's very important. So you just hit browse, and it will not take you. <laughs> um, if you're not already on the folder, go to your documents right there, and then scroll down. And this is all these or are the files from the stream they're the stuff that we just downloaded from Twitch Alerts. <clears throat> Sorry. So what we're looking for is session uh, session top donator. There it is. Bam. Put that in there, and you're good to go. Um, you don't see anything on my screen because it's a new session. But what I can do is uh, add a little tester in there. So keep an eye on that real quick for now. Um, and you can do this on actually I'll just show you you can actually test it with um, twitch alerts by going to my donations once it gets in there <laughs> alright I've got a, I've got some donations in there you won't be able to see them because I'm gonna black them out but uh, what we're gonna do is um, add a donation right up here and call it test and put whatever amount in there. I'm gonna put a thousand dollars because I want to feel special. <laughs> U.S. Um, you can put a message in there. The message will show up if you've got it enabled. It will show up underneath the donation alert. But you can turn it off. I tend to turn mine off sometimes. But you know, you can do whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna just test, test. Whoop. <laughs> Man, I can't spell today. There you go. Test, test, test. Um, save donation. Boom. And now, it did not do it. Well, that's terrible. That's just terrible. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Why didn't I do it? Hmm. I'll be back when I figure out why this did not work. Okay, I couldn't figure out why Twitch, alert, uh, tw Twitch, Twitch alerts at the time of me making this video is just a little on the broken side. So it's not sending alerts. Um, what you would have seen though, uh, let me delete that out of my thing. What you would have seen is my alternate, this guy. Yeah, my alerts are a little loud, sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, if you made a donation alert or alternate alerts or anything like that, it would show up, it would have the name and the amount, but uh, at the moment, Twitch alerts is acting funny. Um, it doesn't always happen. I th uh, hopefully they're working, hopefully they're working it out. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it, I think. I think we covered about everything. Um, if you need to add a game or anything like that to OBS, um, you just right click, add, um, game capture, name it whatever you want, um, and it'll bring up this window. This is where you'll find all, you know, if you've got a game running, this is where you'll find it. You can stretch image to screen to make sure it fits into the screen. You can turn off the capture mouse if you don't want to have your cursor in there. Um, and that's about it. It's pretty, pretty easy. Hopefully this helped you out, guys. I don't do a lot of tutorials, so I'm a little scatterbrained. I don't, um, <laughs> I don't do a lot. I don't do this a lot, so I, um, 
I had no format. I had really no idea what I was doing when I was going into this. I just showing you what I do. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. This. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope it helped you out, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I love your face, and I'll see you. I'll see you around.